Hello Da Vinci, welcome back. This is our English lesson for Wednesday the 3rd of February. Can I write instructions how to wash your hair in space? So what you're going to need for this lesson, you're going to need listening ears, magnet eyes, pencil and the paper of how to wash your hair in space that you've done for the last two lessons now, okay? If you're ever unsure about um, what happened next in the in the story map or the text map, sorry, you could always go back into the video, the playlist where it's how to wash your hair in space, okay? So in yesterday's lesson, we wrote about the first two steps on steps to be taken. So we essentially wrote these two here, but we made it, instead of being about brushing your teeth with your toothbrush and your toothpaste, we changed it, didn't we? We changed it to being about your hair, getting your hair wet with the water in the bag and putting shampoo on your scalp. And we ended it with then sensibly squeeze a small amount of shampoo onto your scalp and rub this into your hair. And that's where we ended there with a full stop. We've now got today's lesson. We're gonna be doing the next part. So. In this lesson, look, as, it's as if I knew what was coming. In this lesson, we're going to be doing this part here. We're going to continue the focus on using the time sentence starters and adverbs. Remember, adverbs with those words that end in an L-Y, okay? And in an L-Y, so like quickly or sensibly, carefully, okay? End in an L-Y. So let's move over to my... Thing. Let me show you what we're going to do. We're going to be writing sentence step three and step four today. So let me change my camera to share the next or to share where I'm writing. Here we are. Perfect. Here we go. So we've got so far, we've got how to write the title, how to wash your hair in space. We've got our introductory paragraph that we've left a space there. We've then got what you need. We've got our list of things you need, all with a bullet point. So my turn, your turn, bullet point, bullet point. And it's just a full stop, but it's in the middle. It's like floating on the line. And it goes at the beginning to say that this is a list of things, okay? We've then got each one of these is underlined with, uh, for our subheading to say that this is one section, then this is the next section. So there are steps to be taken underlined with a colon and we've got first squirt the warm water onto your scalp and wet all your hair. Full stop. Next sentence. Then sensibly squeeze a small amount of shampoo onto your scalp and rub this into your hair. Right. Now you would continue down here, but as you can see, I haven't got any more space. <laughs> so I'm just going to turn over so that you can continue seeing what's next. So I'm just gonna start right at the top here because it's as if it's all on the same page, okay? So our next sentence, or the next thing that happens in the video of her washing her hair is she, after she's washed her hair with, after she's wet her hair, she's put shampoo on her scalp, she's rubbed it into her wet hair. She then gets a comb, doesn't she? And she combs out all of her hair um, so that it doesn't like tangle up, it doesn't knot up. So I'm going to whoop, make sure I don't knock my camera. I'm going to write in that next point now. So if I just make myself ever so slightly smaller so I can see my whole line. There we go. So I'm going to start from here, just on this line, because I'm just going to start fresh. Now, I need a time sentence starter. So we've had first, we've had then. I need another one, but because I've got two more sentences, I cannot use finally because finally it's my last sentence, isn't it? So I'm gonna use another one. Now I could use after, that would work. I'm gonna use next, next is a nice one. So I'm gonna start from here, capital N, because it's the beginning of my sentence. So next, super neat handwriting. Let's see if I move that light, you can see a bit better, perfect. So next, take, Take. Hmm. Yes. Next. I'm not going to say get your comb. I like the idea of take. Next. Take your comb. Take your. Now, remember, comb was, if I go back to my previous sheet, comb here, down right at the bottom. It's got a silent B. Right. 
So let's move on to that side. Then we're going to take your comb and now I need I need I, what I want to do is I want to get all of the the tangles out. But I'm going to use an adverb because you don't you don't like get them out really rough, do you? You get them out quite. I imagine I don't often comb my hair because it's now I'm very short now. But I imagine when you are combing your hair, you do it quite gently. So that's going to be my adverb. So I'm going to use and gently lovely written and gently hmm comb out so that's my my um verb comb out and gently comb out all of all all the tangles gently comb out all the tangles Full stop. Next, take your comb and gently comb out all the tangles. Excellent. We've now got one last sentence we're going to do. So if it's our last sentence, we know our time sentence starter must start with a capital finally. Finally. And what does she do last? After she's combed her hair out, she gets a towel and she rubs her hair to make sure it's all dry so finally take the towel finally take the towel and dry so i've got my conjunction and there and dry your clean Your clean hair. Now I'm going to use a super word here. Finally, take your towel and dry your clean hair. I'm going to use the word thoroughly. Now thoroughly means that you do it really, really well. So there's no, there's nothing left to do. Okay. So I'm going to do it so well that I don't need to worry about doing it again. So if I do something thoroughly, then I'm going to make sure that I don't need to go and dry my hair again later. So finally take the towel and dry your clean hair thoroughly. Now that's a tough word, so I'm going to make sure I take my time. Ura, ura. And then I need my L-Y word, le, thoroughly. So you can see it's an adverb there because it's the way it's a it's an L-Y word. It's telling me how I'm how I'm drying my hair. I'm drying it thoroughly. With a full stop, that's my two sentences. Now, what we need to remember there is that um, I've got a capital letter with the time sentence data. I've got a conjunction and I've got a L-Y um, adverb. So I've done everything that I was looking for. Now, this is my work. Now, yesterday I saw that some of you have put up some work which is brilliant of using my magpie ideas. I'm going to challenge you today to see whether or not you can still write what I'm writing about, about how to wash your hair in space. Well, can you see if you can change those adverbs? So at the minute, I've got thoroughly, I've got gently. See whether you can change those adverbs. See whether or not maybe you could expand the sentences out. Maybe instead of using and, you could use a different conjunction. I've used two ands there, so you could definitely try and change one of them. But that's everything. So let me take you back to the challenge. Let's move over to our other screen. Here we are. So challenge one. Next, get a hmm towel or comb. Finally, get a hmm. I want you to copy the sentence out and write the correct word in here with a capital letter and a full stop for each sentence. 
Challenge two and three, I've modelled, used my modelled writing to help you finish the steps. You can magpie some of those ideas if you need help. But if you magpied yesterday, can you try and do some of the work on your own, pushing yourself independently? And that's everything. Thank you very much, DaVinci. I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.